Hey guys, Sam from Unreal Madness here, and today I'm going to bring you a tutorial on level streaming. Now, level streaming is basically a neater way than doing open level or open map or whatever it is. Um, it's a more efficient way and it enables you to add a loading screen in so the player doesn't see textures popping up or the world being built around him. Now, this is a very simple thing and you can add any of your maps to whatever level you want or anything like that. So, the way this is set up is there's a level sequencing tool. Um, so if you go to the window and go down to levels, click it, and this window will pop up. Now, your persistent level really should be a blank level because it's just going to be um, the overall, the overall like command of this. So every level will be a pet, will be a child to this level. So the way I've set this up right now is in my persistent level. All I have is it will load up a widget and this widget is going to be my menu system so I can show you that it was loading to the game. So to start to for the next thing we need to do now is to add our level. So we can just click on levels. You can even create a new one if you want to create a level around it. Or you can just go to add existing. And I'm just going to type in level I want to select my level seven. Now this is just a mess around project I have I have a lot of stuff on. Um, so it's not complete, it's not going to be complete, it's just something I just tend to mess around in. So now that we added our level, we just want to make sure that it, the toggle, the visibility is off, because we don't want to see it. Um, also with this, you can work on multiple levels at once, so if you do want to like work on a persistent level, just double click and it will move on to persistent, like, persistent level. Um, if you wanted to lock the level, so it prevents you from modifying it in any way, you can. Um, which is a really handy tool. So now we have added that into our levels, that's pretty much all we need to do for the moment. So if we go into our blueprints, and if we go to our menu blueprint, so this is just going to be my menu, just one button. Uh, my menu system won't work for this tutorial because it's already linked off a bunch of other stuff. So right now I just click add a button went down then events on clicked view and then what you need to do is oops let's go to this what you want to do is, so first what what I'm going to do and what I'm going to show you is how to show a loading level like before you um before you load into the game so it takes time so the player doesn't see the messed up level as it's being created so I just created a simple um, page a loading level just a simple widget loading level and this is going to act as my this is going to be act as my loading screen there's nothing attached to it whatsoever so don't worry about that just create a blank widget with a loading level in it so what we want to do is we want to drag off and we want to create widget which will be our loading level or loading um not loading level loading screen so I just want to add that to viewport then after that all we want to do is drag that off, type in load stream level. And from level name, we want it to be the same one that we added. So level 07, which is good. And we want to make sure it's visible after load. Now, after this, we want to ensure that we cannot see the loading screen no more. So we just drag that off and type in remove from parent and connect that up and one more thing I forgot to do is add a remove from parent here so we don't see the menu so in this way when on clicked it will remove the menu it will create the loading screen it will display the loading screen it will load the level when the level is completed it will remove it from parent which is what we want so now when we compile and we go back in we can minimize that when we play it will load up our level, which you can see here, well, which is our widget actually. Click that, and it will see loading level, and then it'll pop in once it's finished. So obviously, once it's finished, it's all properly textured and all added in, so you don't need to worry about anything about that. And that's pretty much how you load a level or stream a level, should I say? So don't forget to hit that like button if you have any questions. Don't forget to comment them in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit that I was going to say describe button, subscribe button. And until next time, guys.